morning to my viewers. I see YouTube is already filled up with all my viewers. A pleasant good morning to everyone. I had to go answer the door, guys. I got to speak to someone. I had to speak to someone. So that's why I didn't come on at 10. I told the person, listen, my audience is waiting on me. I got to run. Good morning, Carmen. Good morning, Joyce. I see Ava on the live. I see Kayon on the live. Welcome to all my viewers. So guys, before I get started. So last week I gave away some small gifts. And the persons who um, won the gifts, you texted me in the chat, but you did not send me your addresses. The only person sent me their address was one of my viewers from New Jersey. Yes, my viewer from New Jersey um, sent me their address. I mailed their gift yesterday. So if you want your gift, hey, you got to send me the address so I could mail it to you. If you're local, all good, because I could always drop it off or meet you at some point and get, you know, things going. All righty, guys. So as you guys uh, must have seen on my post that I'll be making uh, some kind of cup with food in it. This is what it is. I, you know, I like to try new things. Good morning, Elwood. Just see you popping up. So um, I was shopping on Thursday and I came across this in the supermarket. Never seen it before. Maybe it was there, but my first time seeing it. Seeing it. So it's some tortilla pockets. Yep. So I grabbed it and I said, hmm, I could do something with this. So I decided this morning that I'm going to fry some pieces of chicken breast. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to season it up real good. Fry it in some deep um, oil. What is this doing over here? And then, am I tea make? Oh, uh, yeah. So, and then I'm going to pack it with some rice. So I don't know if you all do this, but I do this with my rice to save time sometimes. Um, this is my organic um, basmati, gluten-free, no starch rice. I have like three bags of this in the freezer. Made this um, sometime in the week. It's easier for me in the mornings, especially when I'm preparing um, lunch for twine. It's easier to make. I'm making some fried rice. I'm making some veggie rice. You know, it's ready to go. So this is just an idea to save time, guys. And guys, when you warm it up, it tastes just as good. Yep, June just popped up on my life. She can tell you how good this rice tastes. She just had it last weekend. Very delicious. So I had this pack frozen in a Ziploc. So I thought it earlier this morning. So I am going to be um, whipping it up with a chicken breast. And I'm going to be stuffing these pockets, guys. Let's see how this tastes. All right, but before I get started, guys, let me turn my pop. No. No, I'm turning fine yet. Let me make some tea. All right. So, you know I keep it real. This cupboard is so packed. Can't open it wide because it's going to tumble over. It's so rammed. All right. So, I'm making some decaffeinated blue mountain coffee this morning. Yep. Yep. And the cream that Audrey gave me, of course, I'm going to use it in there. Although, I prefer my thing a little creamier. But anyway, let's go. You get a little spoon. My water is already hot. So let me plug this bad boy out. And let me plug in some more lighting. Because I've been getting complaints that it's very dark in here. So I'm getting some new lighting equipment, you know, to make sure I have enough light for the cam for the no for the cameras. All right. So I'm going to make some coffee this morning, decaffeinated because I'm allergic to caffeine. If I ever consume any kind of caffeine, guys, may I tell you, on Africa, I'm going to go hospital. Blood pressure would spike. Yep. So I have to go decaf. It tastes just as good. So I'm having two scoops of this creamer. Now this creamer is a collagen creamer. It doesn't have the sugar. It's butter pecan flavor. It's keto friendly. It's dairy free. It's gluten free and it's soy free. 
very healthy for you. All right, let me put it over here to get some space. All right, so I'm gonna mix my little cup. You know the Jamaican song, Miss Lou used to sing, me coffee, me coffee, me coffee. <laughs> My bowl of wild in coffee in the morning. She said morning, but me go say the stush way. In the morning, I care for. I remember the song go. <laughs> anyway, y'all know the song I'm talking about. All right, so let's taste this. Mmm, delish, delicious, very tasty. Mmm, hit the spot. Very, very delicious. Mmm, taking good mouthfuls. All right, so I'm gonna turn my wok on because you know I like to fry in my wok. It does a very good job. And good morning, Paulette. Good morning, Jeannie. I see y'all just popping up, you latecomers. <laughs> anyway, better late than never. Glad to have you on the show. Mm. All right, but the rest of my coffee over there, so. Dry up this little water will spill out of the kettle. All right, guys, so while my pot is getting hot, I'm going to season real quick right here. Oh, I forgot to pop a glove. Ooh, I forgot to get a glove, guys. Ugh. All right, I got a glove. I just need one glove. I don't need two. Because, you know, cross-contamination, I'm going to season the chicken breast. You don't want to be touching up everything. Good morning, Sister P, Sister Palmer, I see you. Good morning, Shirley. Good morning, Judy Ann. Good morning, good morning, peeps. I see everyone popping up. All right, guys. So I have about, it feels like about a pound. Matter of fact, talking about a pound, I'm giving away a, a, a kitchen skill today. I'm just running to grab it. Okay. I have the box for it. I just happened to take it out to look at it, but it's brand new. Um, this is a kitchen scale. I'll be giving this away on the show today. And there's three other little small items. Alrighty, so guys, I've already cut this up, washed it and everything, vinegar it down, lime it down, the Jamaican way. No, wait, wait we'll clean up with chicken. All right, so um, I'm gonna add some dry seasoning. So this is some garlic powder that I'm adding. And then I'm going to add some orange pepper. Oh, thought I didn't open it yet. This is the open one. Wait, don't embarrass my father live enough. Oh, chop. All right, so guys, I'm adding some lemon pepper. <laughs> don't pay me any mind. I'm crazy when I'm ready. Um, and some paprika. And of course, some Goya adobo. Just a little because, you know, we don't want it too salty. And of course, Maggie All Purpose seasoning. So I'm adding a little of that too. All right. So I'm just going to rub up this pieces of, um, what do you call it? Chicken breast right here. Nice and succulent. And I got the organic type, guys. I'm going to season this up. And then, you know I like to grate my onion. Because when you grate it, you get the juices from it. It flavors it better. It adds good flavor to it. And you don't have to deal with the pieces. The flavor is already in it. And that's what we want. So I'm just going to grate some, um, some onions. So we get the juices and the pieces all over the chicken. So I'm not going to use all because I don't need all. So you see how mushy it is on this side? That's how I really want it. So it really rubs on the chicken better, you know, guys? And I do the same thing with my garlic. You know, I purposely didn't um, clean the garlic this morning because uh, I wanted to grate it on live for you guys. So I'm using one big clove. I don't need all the garlic because remember, I already added um, garlic powder. So 
So we don't want it to be too garlicky. We just want some seasoning on it. You know what I hate? I hate to go somewhere and you know, you buy food and the food has no taste, no seasoning. Lord, we can't deal with it. Can't deal with the black food. All right, so I'm just grating some pieces of garlic on the chicken too. So it's one big clove that I'm grating on the chicken. All right. I'm back home, you know, how they teach us to season our meat. We have to put some time in there. So I'm putting some time in this time, during this time. Let me take these things out. I don't know how they fell in it. Oops, let me turn some light on under here. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do, I have some stalks of thyme right here. So I'm just going to add the leaves in this little baby mata right here. Who's calling? You can't call on my live. So I'm adding some thyme leaves. I'm adding some thyme leaves right here. My niece is calling. She No, she can't call me this time of the morning. Nope, not today. <laughs> I'm on my live. All right, so guys, I, had, I added a good amount of thyme leaves right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make it into a powder so I could sprinkle on the chicken. So I'm making it real powdery just to season this piece of chicken breast right here. All righty, there you go. So I'm sprinkling some powdered thyme, no processing, no, no additives, no preservatives, the real deal. All right, so I'm just rubbing this up, guys, rubbing it up together. And then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add some. I'm gonna add some cornstarch. I'm gonna add some cornstarch. I forgot to take it out, but that's okay. I'm or, I'm adding some organic cornstarch. It's gluten free, and it's perfect for this dish. And um, you could get this in um, Whole Foods. I think it's Whole Foods. I got this. Had it for a little while now. So I'm adding a little organic cornstarch just to add the crisp to the chicken breast. Just to add some crisp to the chicken breast. So I'm twirling this around. And I'm going to let it sit there for like a couple minutes or two minutes or so. So I'm removing my glove. All right. Great. So now, guys, I'm going to be using some vegetable oil. And this is some soy-free vegetable oil that I'm using. Because, you know, a lot of these oils they have out there, they're soy-based and they call it vegetable oil. And, you know, as women, we it's not good for us to consume soy, you know, because it breeds the cancer cells. So you have to be careful, you know, of the oils that you're using to cook your foods. All right, guys, so I'm just going to wash my hands real quick. Then I'm going to take a sip of my tea while this oil hot. So question this morning, first gift give, prize giveaway. And the first prize giveaway is the kitchen scale. The kitchen scale. So if you need a kitchen scale to weigh your foods, we have a nice, what's this brand? It's called Ambiano kitchen scale to weigh your flour, your sugar, your rice, your cooking, you don't have the correct measurements. And it has um, the metric and it also has, you know, the ounces and the pounds. So you could switch it to whichever um, way you want to use it. All right. So 
The first question is, so this morning early, I posted something on Facebook, right? And I asked the question, but I didn't even check to see how many persons responded. Tell me, the first person to type this in wins the scale. Tell me what did I post and uh, what was the mail? What was the mail? Tell me the, the, the name of the mail. And she said, daughter banned me from playing. <laughs> yeah, because you win all the prize. No, you're allowed to play. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. So tell me what did I post on Facebook? And no cheating. No cheating, guys. Tell me what did I post early this morning, right? Who said that? My daughter. Made, oh, okay, guys. So I'm waiting on the answer. When I get the answer, then you win the scale. I'm waiting to see who first type in. Nobody from YouTube, nobody from Facebook, nobody from Instagram. By the way, guys, I'm on three platforms this morning. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And YouTube. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Stephanie. All righty. So the question is, let me repeat the question. Stephanie been winning all the prize. Oh, Carmen answered. Sorry, Stephanie. Carmen won the prize. She said Sprat and breadfruit. It was really Sprat cousin. It's not really Sprat. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with those little fish, those little butterfish. Um, and it looks like Sprat. Um, those were the fishes I fried yesterday with some breadfruit. I was craving for that. And man, they were so, so, so delicious. All right, guys. So my oil is hot and I'm going to be dropping my chicken breast in. Here it start a sizzle. Already, so I'm dropping them in, and you know they're gonna cook very fast, guys, because it's chicken breast. So I want the chicken breast to have this crunch, so I added some organic cornstarch, gluten-free. I'm telling you, gluten-free, no gluten. No gluten whatsoever. All right, so I'm just dropping in everything because they're separating in the oil as soon as you drop them in anyway. So I don't need to take out the individual pieces. All right, so I'm leaving that to cook for a while. Let me rest this over here. And then, guys, I'm going to be making some carrot fries. Now, this might sound crazy. She said, almost spread and breadfruit. Surely you answer too late. Somebody else won the prize. <laughs> All right. So I have four pieces of carrots here, guys. And I'm just going to cut them in strips like French fries. Why don't I go shopping on my fried eggs? Okay, they do look like french fries and I'm cutting them very long because the pockets that I'm going to be stuffing them in is very long as well so I have to cut them very long so they could stand out so 
So these carrot fries, guys, is going to have a crunch because it's not going to be soft. It's going to be like half cooked. But we, I don't mind. Because we all eat raw carrots, which is actually good for us. All right, I don't think I'm gonna use everything. You know why? Save that for another day. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna twiggle this around in the oil while it cooks. And it's smelling and looking very good, guys. It's looking very delish. It smells mm, like heaven. Alrighty, she said, where is the Julian gadget? What Julian gadget? <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Not raw, but un unhooked or uncooked. All right. Okay, guys, so I'm waiting for the chicken breast to fry. Um, over here, I have two pieces of pineapple. I'm going to cut that up because I'm going to add that to the rice. I'm not making a Hawaiian rice, but I'm just going to add it to the rice. So I'm just prepping my ingredients. It's the middle of the pineapple. So I'm just going to put one little piece of pineapple in there. In the mix up. All right. So let me chop up some peppers. So I have assorted peppers here. I'm, I'm cutting up baby bell peppers, guys. So I have three different colors. I have orange, yellow, and red. I've chopped up my peppers I chopped up my um, carrots and I'm gonna turn my chicken breast again in the oil I have to make sure it's properly cooked and not raw because as you can see it's starting to change color and I wanted to make sure it cooks right through doesn't take long to cook but I want to make sure it cooks right through. alrighty guys so I'm gonna season up my carrots yes you know like you eat seasoned fries um i'm gonna add some seasoning to the carrots i'm gonna add the same orange pepper to the carrots and then i'm gonna add a little adobo a little bit of garlic powder and then i'm just gonna you know, just rub them together like this. And then I'm going to drop them in the oil as soon as I take out the chicken breast pieces. Alrighty, let me get my thing to take it out of the oil. Alright, let's see which ones are thoroughly cooked. Let it stay a little bit more because I want it to be nice and golden brown. All right. So while that is cooking, guys, I'm going to take out my 
tortilla pockets to show you what they look like. They look like a nice long cup, but it's a pocket. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be packing this with rice, chicken on top, and then the carrots at the back like french fries, like you take up a bag of a, a bag of french fries at McDonald's. But it, this is the more healthier version of that look. And the good thing about it, you could eat the holder of all of this. So I think I'm going to do about maybe four because I'm going to have to eat one. So I'm going to do about four. You know, these over here look bigger. Let me do one of the big ones over here. For some reason, the ones on this side looks bigger. Yeah, they are bigger. All right, let me use two big ones and two little ones. Okay. So I use two big and two little. All right, let me rest this in the corner. All right, guys, so my chicken breast is ready. Here's the proof. Fully cooked. Fully cooked smells like heaven. So I'm just going to put it in this bowl right here. Smells so great. Smells so awesome. Oh, my for TSP. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> you know, when you're cooking in Jamaica, your tea for a piece of meat out of the pot. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Tastes so good. All right, guys. My, got, my oil is still hot. So I'm going to drop in the carrot. So, if you never see somebody fry carrots yet, you saw some fried carrot this morning. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. Sealy's Kitchen. Think outside of the box. Good morning, Paula. I see you on YouTube. Welcome to my life from work. Glad to have you. Mm -hmm. Yes. So guys, when this cool down, I'm gonna I'm just gonna add some sweet and sour stir fry sauce all over it, just to quote it. So I don't want my carrots to be fully cooked because I want that little crunch in there. So I'm just gonna leave it in the oil for a few minutes. Because if it starts to get fully cooked, you know, it might start getting soft. And I don't want it to be soft. I want it to be half cooked with a little crunch. All right. So I might not use all this. You know what? I'm going to use the whole bag because Twine can eat it when he comes home today. So I have a full bag of gluten-free no starch organic best matty rice which i previously cooked and it was um frozen in the freezer so this morning what i did i got up i thawed it and it's good to go so i'm just gonna fry it up in my wok and make a meal out of it all right guys so i'm gonna take out my carrot fries let me go put it on Mm. So we need to drain the excess oil from this. Oops. From the pot. And look at it, guys. It almost looks like sweet potato fries. <laughs> Looks nice, yellow, and crunchy. So I'm just going to take the paper towel 
and I'm going to sap up the excess oil on it. So it looks nice, dried, and crisp. All right. So I have this just the same, just the way I like it. Let me clean up this mess right here. Clean up all this mess right here because I clean as I go along. All right, so I'm going to turn my stove off for a second, guys. And then I'm going to pour my excess oil in a pot right that I have right here waiting. Because you know you can't pour this stuff down the sink. So I'm going to use my wok again. So I'm just going to do a quick cleaning with some bounty. ready again <laughs> pot is ready again like freddy all right i have a little oil spilling right here don't want to all right so pot's ready again guys pot is ready to go so i'm getting this pot hot and then i'm going to add a little butter then i'm going to add my pineapple over here and i have a little piece of onion here just gonna grow I'm just gonna cut it up in it and some seasoning some parsley fry it up pack it inside that pocket put my um, carrot fries in put my little chicken pieces on top Dec decorate it real nice and get it going all right So I'm adding pineapple, peppers, and of course I'm going to cut up a piece of onion. Don't take much seasoning to make things nice, you know, guys. I saved back some of the peppers so I could decorate the top of my pocket, so I didn't use all. All right, so let's turn this around a little bit. And then now I'm gonna gradually add my rice. So I'm gonna add half of the pack, and then I'm gonna stir this up. Got a good idea. So I'm gonna add some grace coconut powder to the mix as well. Just came to thought, just decided to add it. So it has a coconut pineapple flavor. Then I'm gonna add some more. Might not use all, because it's a lot of rice. It's more than I thought. So now I'm gonna season my pot. So I'm adding some orange pepper. Some Goya. Some paprika so guys you notice I use the same season on the chicken and I'm using it on the rice as well oh I have some new visitors on Facebook. 
Okay, guys, so this rice looks like it's ready, you know. So the last ingredient I'm going to be adding, guys, is some parsley. So I'm going to throw it, put, I'm throwing it from the side that sprinkles. So the last thing I'm adding to this rice is some parsley. So guys, I forgot to tell you at the start of today's live, I just want to big up Pauline, my English guest who was here on Wednesday. She brought this apron for me all the way from London. And guys, I'm loving it. It has two pockets right here. It feels very comfy and I just love the color. So this morning, guys, I'm coming to you live from the British kitchen. Sealy's British kitchen this morning. Oh, I should have had some tea instead of some coffee and some crumpets. All right, guys, so the rice ready? Chicken over this already. So I'm just gonna pour some sweet and sour sauce all over my chicken pieces here. Ooh. just to make it great i'm just gonna pour that over my chicken pieces just to make this great all right so um, let me clear this area let me clear this area and i am going to be packing my pockets online this morning for y'all so Oh, let me get some things to take up the chicken. Okay. Keep it fancy. We need another one. Mm. You no, know, this is the gadget drawer, guys. I have so many gadgets inside of it. All right. I'll just improvise. All right. So my first pocket, guys. Um, I'm going to add a little piece of kale just for decor on the edge of this. You know what? Let me put it after. So first, I'm going to add my carrots. And you see why I needed to cut the carrots long, guys? And then I'm going to add some rice. I need my carrots up. I need my carrots up. This one is sagging. So I'm just going to pack this with some rice. Oh, this feels good. So I'm pushing down the rice so I make room for the, the chicken. I think I need to put another little piece more carrot here and a little piece more here. You know, just to decorate it. And then behind it, I'm going to be putting some kale. So you got the carrots resting on the kale. And then I'm going to pack it with some pieces of this chicken breast right here. Right. And then, uh, where did I put my peppers? I put it all the way over here. And then I'm going to sprinkle some pieces of pepper just for decor on the top. And then I'm just going to garnish the top with some parsley. Yep. So let's rest this cup right here. I don't want anything falling out. I'm gonna do another one. So we get some healthy, healthy food in our pocket this morning. I'm gonna put a little piece of parsley.
in the top. Let me add some pieces of carrots in the back. I could just put the carrots anywhere. And then I'm going to add the chicken. Oops. So I have another packed one here, guys. So I've made two so far. So I'm down to number three. Hey, trying to get some delicious dinner later, you know. Unfortunately, he can't watch the live. Because he went to his other job today, so he's locked away. He's locked away in the vault, so he can't. He can't be on his phone or live. But it's okay. All right, so get me, let me get a little piece of kale to put at the back of this thing right here for decor purposes. Let me add some carrots. And then some chicken. All right, so I'm down to the last one, guys, because I told you I'm making four. So I'm down to the last one. Still have excess rice left. Ooh. All right, so let me stick a piece of kale right here. Stick a piece of kale, some carrots from this right here. And add some chicken. Oops, chicken fell on the counter, but that's fine. We need some carrots for show another one now. All right, so let me put some pieces of pepper on this. Might not put, in a, put it on all of them, but. Okay, guys, so I have four pockets here filled to capacity. Yep, let me wash my hands. So guys, we got a meal here. One Chris say hello, everyone. Who is one Chris? Jamaica Chris? All right, guys. So, 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 so. Look at what we made in Seely's Kitchen today. Some pockets filled with food. So if you're having a party and you want to be very creative and you want to give your guests something different, I mean, you could have packed some rice and peas in there and some stew chicken. Yes. And put your salad at the top or the side. Yes. Very interesting. You know, people eat with their eyes. And when people see these kind of presentation, just, they just want it. They just want to eat it. You know, they just want to eat this food. So guys, if you like what we cook in Seely's Kitchen today, I need some hearts and thumbs up. And if possible, some stars. Yes. Yes, guys. Um, some stars uh, were sent to me in the past. And I'm so, 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 so grateful. Elwood would say, I want one tomorrow. I'll see how that goes. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll see if I could bring you one. Yes. Um, <laughs> guys, I'm going to taste one of this for you. Now, and I'm sure it tastes very good because 
The smell is just burning my nose right now. I can't. Oh. She said what? Star page broke down. No man, the star page is still kicking on Facebook. If you look at the top, you will see that I'm star enabled and it says zero. Look on your live. So that means nobody not send a star from morning. So the star is very, very, very much active. Uh, okay, guys, so I'm going to taste one of them for you. I'm going to taste one of them for you. Okay, I'm going to bite the first one. Mmm. Mmm. Need a piece of paper towel. Guys, I've eaten burritos before. There's no burrito out there that can be compared to this pocket this morning. Why? It has a Caribbean flavor because the chicken is well seasoned. The rice is delicious. The rice is very healthy. And it's very filling already. Mm, mm, mm. This is indeed delicious. Mm. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. This is extremely delicious. So, guys, before I go, mm, let me cut this one right here. I have four gift giveaways left. Hmm. Small kitchen gadgets, especially these, very useful. This is a whisk. This is similar to what I just used to pick the chicken up. See? Came in very handy. You could use it in your salad. You could use it for stuff like this. Very handy. So I have two of them to give away. And they're by Crofton. They're very good brands. Okay, so question. Question, question, question. Some time ago, let's see how many of you pay attention. So I spoke about this apron that I got from my UK friend who visited earlier this week. Some time ago, I wore an Irish apron, and I even wore it when I was in Florida. Who can text in on the live and told me who sent me that, who gave me that gift? The name of the person who gave me that gift. Let's see. Let's see if you guys pay attention. Let's see if you guys pay attention. Somebody gave me an apron from Ireland. I wore it a few times on my live. I even wore it the other day um, in Florida. Yes, Sandra Hyatt. Sandra Hyatt, you just won one of these. Very handy in the kitchen. I'll get it to Audrey for you. Sand Sandra pays attention. Celicia Jolly gave me the apron I wore a couple of weeks ago and recently. She went on a trip to Ireland and she thought of me and she knows that I like green. So she brought me back a nice apron. All right, guys, you have to pay attention to everything in the cousin. No, no, no. We may ask her. It doesn't have to do with it necessarily um, do with the food or can be anything, anything. All right, so I have three gifts left. Ooh. Quite recently on Facebook, as recent as Sunday, I'm going to give you the, the specific day. I made, and Junior not playing. <laughs> if you're watching this live, Junior not playing, because you're going to get it. June, June is exempt from this question. June cannot play this game because she's going to get it. Um, I made a rice, a particular rice, for a function. It was a baby shower. If you can tell me the type of rice that I made this past Sunday, this past Sunday, you win the other one. If you can tell me what kind of rice I made this past Sunday, you win the small gift. Elwood, you got it. It's indeed Hawaiian rice. 
It's indeed Hawaiian rice. Stephanie, you type too late. By the way, Stephanie, did you get your gift? Did you receive your chopper? All right, so I have two gifts left. So you guys type too slow. Miss Joyce, you type too slow. Hawaiian rice it is, not Spanish rice. All righty, so. Mm. If you can tell me two ingredients, because I put up um, videos all the time when I'm, you know, little snippets, little shorts on YouTube, how I make the Hawaiian rice. If you, so if, you pay, if you're paying attention, then I'll know. So tell me two ingredients that I use in the Hawaiian rice. Two of the ingredients that I use in the Hawaiian rice. Let's see who types the fastest. <laughs> If you can tell me two of the ingredients that I use in the Hawaiian rice, you win. No, no, I don't put broccoli in there. Mm -mm. Can't put broccoli. Can't put broccoli. Spinach and broccoli. No. Stephanie got one of the answers right. Hawaiian rice, famous ingredients, you mean? Two. <laughs> Jesus, June must say now, please. <laughs> All right, so June won this whisk. <laughs> it's indeed pineapple, coconut flakes, and pineapple are two of the ingredients, but it's a lot of ingredients in there. So coconut flakes and pineapple are two of the ingredients that I use in the Hawaiian rice. So June, you win this whisk. All right, so I, I have a nice firm spatula left. And guys, by the way. These things can be used in hot oil. They won't melt. That's the good thing about these things. They won't melt if you use them in the pot. If you notice this morning, guys, I used one of them to stir the rice and it didn't melt. It's very firm. The material that it's made of, it doesn't melt with, you know, in heat. All right. Gift, gift it to Philly. Philly win. All right. So one gift is left. I have one gift left. Um, who? What's the question? What's the question? Hmm. Okay, so I posted a flyer last week. Who can tell me why did I post the flyer? No, I shouldn't. Let me rephrase that question. What type of flyer did I post? What does the title of the flyer say? And no cheating. It's a menu. What does the, the, the menu says? The, the line says above where the menu is. What does it say? Let's see if you pay attention, guys. It says mm, 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 menu. Two, 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 two um, major events or somebody say Christmas cake. No, um, Christmas and Thanksgiving. Okay, Stephanie, you win. So Stephanie just won this nice firm spatula. Sandra said, baby, no. Okay, so the flyer that I did put up, it says Christmas and Thanksgiving menu. So if you go on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok, you will see the menu that I put up for Christmas and Thanksgiving. It has ham on it. It has Christmas cakes on it. It has puddings on it. It has seafoods on it, seafood platters. So guys, check out my menu that was posted last week. I think I reposted it this week and I'll repost it after the live again on my story and my reel. So it will be in your face all the time. So guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for the interaction. Guys, I love you all. And right now, now come off of the live. I'm going to finish eating my little thing over here, sir. And I'm going to um fondant a cake for somebody's birthday later so guys i got work to do and i got food to eat so as jamaicans would say what good so i want 
all of you on this life today to take care of yourself and walk good. If you're in New York, stay warm. If you're in Jamaica, enjoy the sunshine. Take care, Miss Joycey. Take care, Paula. And I'll see you guys next week. Same place. Oh, let me... Um, Next week, guys, I will not be on live at 10 o'clock. I will send a post out on Facebook um, and tell you what time I'm coming on live. More or likely, I'll be coming on live in the afternoon. So you'll be cooking dinner with me. So I'll be making some kind of soup. So you'll be cooking with me next Saturday evening. So I won't be on live next week at 10 o'clock. I will be on live in the afternoon. I will post the time. Good morning, Annie. Annie say, I need my fish. Oh, Annie, I I'm going to call you in a few. Um, one of my in-laws just popped up, guys. Need to go call her shortly. So, guys, take care of yourself. And as Jamaicans would say, what good. So, some thumbs up for what we cooked on live today, guys. Send some thumbs up and some hearts before we go. Show some love. All right? So, bye-bye. Mm. Mm-hmm.